Hello there, and thank you so kindly for tuning in to Brown Eyes on this beautiful, amazing, wonderful day. Because remember, so as a man thinketh in his heart, then so is he. We are to think upon things that bring us a good report. We are to speak things that are not as though they were already. Thank you so kindly for tuning in to Brown Eyes on this beautiful, amazing, wonderful day. If you are new to Brown Eyes' channel, welcome indeed. Feel free to subscribe, like, share, comment on my video, and take this spiritual journey with Brown Eyes. So, um, I was just kind of um, feeling kind of residual energy these last couple of days, I have to say, for me personally. And it's like, when I say res residual energy, it's like energy that, you know how you try to disconnect yourself from uh, energy, but some kind of way it, tr it tries to linger back or it, it, it's not completely out. It's out, but it, the, the lingering, you know what I'm saying? Like the lingering. And I've been feeling a lot of lingering energy for the collective of the divine masculines. Um, because as we know in the past readings, the divine masculines, some of them are building themselves up, they're transforming, they're renewing their thoughts, they're 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 they're, they're really trying to come out of um, toxic relationships and uh, karmic relationships. But uh, a lot of these divine masculines, y'all, and sometimes you know you might not like to hear the truth, but you know we have to keep it real. We have to deal with reality, and that's a lot of times what I do is when I. Being that I am a Scorpio, I'm always to myself and meditating, and I am able to hear and see things better spiritually and understand. So, uh, what, what I'm about to say, you know, it's it's not contradictory because we're checking on these divine masculines. Because remember, you don't have just one contract to fulfill; you have many contracts that are available for you to fill to complete. So, if for whatever reason this divine masculine does not get his shit together, and come on with the come on, then guess what? The universe will make sure he's completely removed out of your life. Uh, but a lot of these divine masculines, y'all, you know, a lot of them have, have really severe abandonment issues because of childhood trauma in their lives. And the reason why they're so stuck within the matrix way and they have to build this image is because a lot of our divine masculines did not wasn't in a position to find themselves as a man. They were they, they never had really really strong father figures or male figures in their lives uh, where they needed it the most. And so I believe a lot of these divine masculines uh, are really severely scarred. They're damaged. They're severely damaged. And uh, it doesn't matter if he's with you, Divine Feminine, or if he's with the little young side chick on the side, or if he's with the little wifey, uh, you know, that he's invested all the Ten of Pentacles with. Just know that it was never you. I mean, yeah, you have to learn within it, but it's something within the Divine Masculine that he's going to have to face and deal with. It because at this point, okay, I already did that. He's not worth having in your life. Uh, and that's just keeping it real. He's not worth having in your life because a lot of divine masculines are out there. Not all of them. So remember, this is a general reading. I don't know you personally, but energetically, this is what I'm feeling. Brown eyes. So I don't need you to check me about what's in my thoughts. I'm sharing my thoughts with you. Okay. And so a lot of these divine masculines are stuck within their flesh because that's all they know. They're stuck within their addictions and, and their addictions and their flesh. A lot of the divine masculines will die in those situations. Yeah. And they won't they won't get it they won't get it together. Some of them. Did, you know, just some of them. You know, you have to look at it realistically because everybody's not going to, it's not going to be pizzas and roses every day. It, it, that's not how it is. You're not going to, how are you going to learn a lesson in every day being a sunshiny day? You can't. There's not a lesson in that. But when it seems like the clouds are always blue and loomy and gloomy and, and you're having to go within to find the answers, then I think those are the challenging situations that really cause us to really go within and really get the real important questions answered spiritually, 
Because this is a spiritual walk, y'all. I know it feels earthly and physical because we're here, but it's really not. But, um, so yeah, I feel like the divine masculines will end up being turned out and, and die within that situation, especially if they're addicted within their flesh, especially if they have drug addictions that they're trying to. Because remember, the, a lot of the divine masculine has have practiced this image for so long. They wouldn't dare want you, divine feminine, to see who they really are. Because they have put on such a face in front of you. Because guess what, divine feminists? And I'm going to get to the cause. Just hold on. When they saw you, you know, they were so used to a certain type of person, a certain type of woman. And I'm sure that they had plenty and plenty and plenty of women. Most men do. That's, that's the energy. But it was something about that connection when he met you. And it, it's, it's so easy for him to stay in the gutter and try to build a life there. Because staying on low vibrations would never have you looking at yourself because everyone around you is lost. But see, when he's with the divine feminine, she causes him to look at himself. She causes him to be held accountable for his actions because she is, after all, the divine feminine. So if, if he's fighting addictions and, and things of this flesh and, and child abandonment issues and just, just low vibration, the dark side of the soul, then he's not the person you want around you. And you have to really be thankful that this energy is not, you know, really connected to you. Now, you could get the residual energy because I think deep down he longs for that peaceful energy that you guys had when it was good. You know, everybody can reminisce on that. That's what the d divine masculine misses, but that's not what he can give you or really receive at this time. And it's going to always feel like the same thing because he's not going to talk about it because he's painted such a hell of an image t for himself. I mean, he probably had all kind of stuff to say about everybody else, but he really wasn't telling you the real him. But now that, um, you know, the truth is coming out, he's having to uh, really look at himself and... Things are being exposed like terror read. I mean, I mean, the, the truth is always out there. And so now he's really having to look at himself. So he will stay to himself and build himself. But in the meantime, I still think he's around all this negative energy. But I think his heart is crying out to be free. So, but in your energy, Divine Masculine, as a collective, and I hope everyone is having a marvelous day, by the way. <laughs> So we have the number 24 card, which is the number 6 card, which is Adjacent Possibilities. You got some good cards here. And coming up in your current energy, uh, you have the number 34, which is 7. Uh, door to personal healing and happiness. This is what you, you're going through and what you're trying to do uh, currently, Divine Masculine, because you need to be healed. You so need to be healed. If you don't be healed, you're no good to anyone. And then coming up in your future energy, Divine Masculine is the number 10 card, which is the number one. You have a storm warning. So, you know, like I was saying, a lot of these Divine Masculines have gotten so lost within the practices of their love. You know, it's one thing to uh, be in a relationship with a guy and you do everything you're supposed to do as his better half. You loving him or whatever. If this man has a addiction within his flesh of any kind, I don't give a damn what you do for him. It's not going to be enough. It is his addiction. It's not you. It has nothing to do with you. And I think a lot of things just, just play out on him. And, and they just really under attack. But see, a lot of divine masculines are full of pride, too. They're full of pride and arrogance, which keeps their asses stuck, too. So let's clarify your cards, Divine Masculine. No, I'm not just, this is not the bash Divine Masculine day, but I get tired of that residual energy uh, because I think that a lot of Divine Masculines are regretful and are remorseful and even envious because the connection that they once had with their Divine Feminine, they no longer have that connection. Even if you're in somewhat contact with them, but not, you know, just... Like it was, you know, because it's not, it's never going to be the same. Now, it can be totally recreated into something new and beautiful, but you cannot expect to patch this up. This is a divine relationship and it has to be held the right way. That's why it is a contract. So let's clarify your current energy, Divine Masculine, which is door to personal healing and happiness. So see, that door to personal healing and happiness, I think that has to do, happens to do with, um, like I said, a lot of childhood issues that they don't want to talk about that is really affecting their life today. Uh, you know, not, not wanting to allow people to know that side of him. 
uh, always feeling alone, always feeling abandoned, always feeling uh, inadequate. So in order to make up for those things, the Divine Masculine put his energy into his image. They want to look it now. That's why they go get a younger person now is because they're trying to they're trying to redo and make up capture lost time, but you can't do that. Okay, so let's clarify the door to personal healing and happiness. But at the end of the day, when the penis stop working, the young thing better not let your money run out. The young thing gonna be gone looking for another another penis. So okay, we have the seven of cups here for the door to personal healing and happiness. This is some type of options, uh, illusions. Um, undecided, confusion. Confused on how to get this here. The temperance card. You're, you're, you're trying to balance yourself out because of all of the confusion in your life. Divine Masculine. Because like I said, you don't know what's real. I think you're finding out spiritual things through um, through your divine feminine because we know she she could have to find out some stuff. After all, your ass wasn't telling her shit. So if she had to go to the cards, you can't get mad because she would have to start getting tarot card readings so she could just help other people. You know, you know, it's sad that it's like that, but 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 then again, this has been around for eons and eons and eons. We 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 were just so dumbed down. We was told not to tap into certain things while they're tapping into them. You hear me? Ace of Swords here. So why they telling us not to tap into it? Someone else is tapping into it, and and they're getting the results. So. The seven of wands. So it's like you're standing your ground. So in your current energy, Divine Masculine is saying door to personal healing and happiness is seven of cups, ace of swords, or temperance, ace of swords, and seven of wands. So it's as if you're like, You having to you got clarity you had to cut out something temperance means that you're trying to reconcile probably something some type of relationship here because seven of cups could mean options but all of your options ain't shit type of options and it's like from your options you're having to heal yourself so you got two healing cards your um your overall energy for your uh current energy and then your clarifying card because this one is door to personal healing and happiness, which is your current energy. And then to clarify, you also have the temperance card. She's balancing it. And that means that brings healing. So it's like you're you're so wounded here. Like I was saying, you're so wounded. You keep your guards up, but you, you're standing, you keeping your guards up for, for this some type of truth that you cut out. Clarify the seven of cups. Okay, got this Queen of Cups. So, someone brings you happiness. Is this person, is this Queen of Cups one of your options? Hmm, why is this Queen of Cups here? Clarify Seven of Cups. Uh -oh. Ooh, wee. Now you got the Empress. Ain't that some shit? That kind of just changed the game for me. It's like you got two two women because they they sitting back to back on here, <laughs> and they and they they it, they right here next to the Seven of Cups. So my understanding to me is like the Divine Masculine. He had so many women. He had someone who was wifey. And he had someone who, he had someone who he spent all his money, who he invested earthly into, and he also kept one close who invested in him emotionally. She, but but since he's so damaged, they're just his options, because he got other options. The, these are just the ones who he stayed focused the most on, because these are the ones that he needed the most. 
Wow, so that's what the Seven of Cups is. Wait a minute, who is this Queen of Cups here? What is that all about? Clarify the Queen of Cups. Wow, there was a Four of Wands at the bottom. What's that about? Three of Cups. Someone who is either from your past or someone you want to go into from your past. You want to renew something. You want to celebrate. But I think it's someone that was emotionally giving to you. You want to renew this connection. And, and this and this Queen of Cups was one of your options. Now, who is this Empress? Clarify the Empress. Three of Wands. Someone you, uh, wait a minute, waiting on your ships, wait, let's get some more. So with this Empress, you're waiting on your money. With this Empress, with this, like, this, this union, because we know the Empress is America made a woman, okay? She's America made a woman, but she still was one of your options because you have other, other women out there too, Divine Masculine. But it's like with this empress, you're waiting on something. You're waiting for your shifts to come in. You, you're waiting on your investment. So it's all about, you got, you, like I said, you got her because it was all about stability. And you're waiting on something, dealing with some type of monetary value. You're waiting on something. It's like you invested in this specifically so that you can reap the benefits from it. So it's, it's as if you chose this empress because remember, she's not the main one. She's an option, just like this queen of cups is. They're not the main chick. It, to, for him, they're options because of his headspace. That's why he needs to be healed. So he chose this queen of cups because she always uplifted him. She was al always happy. She was always nurturing to him. Is it, You know what I'm saying? She, it, it was always some type of happy emotions when it came to this one over here. So he allowed her to pour her cup into him. She always offered her cup to him. And he took it in celebration because that's what his emotions needed. But over here, he offered stability to this empress. He built a life with her. He, he, he sold something into her because he was waiting for something to come out of it. That's why he did it. But still, he didn't sow his emotions. It was, it was earthly things. But even then, he wasn't serious about her because she was still just another option. So through an, all this confusion and chaos, you're needing to balance yourself. You're needing to balance yourself or you're trying to reconcile with somebody. It, you could either be trying to reconcile, but I think you're trying to balance yourself and heal yourself since we're clarifying this. You're trying to heal yourself because you had so many options, but the main ones that affected you the most was this emotional one and, the, and, and your pinnacle one. But since you still was out there in the world with all these illusions, you couldn't do it all, so you had to cut some stuff out. You got clarity and truth. You had to cut some stuff out. So why is the Seven of Wands here for the Divine Mask? And clarify the Seven of Wands. Are you, are you standing your ground because those are two things that you want to keep in your life? I mean, what is that about? Clarify the Seven of Wands. Okay. Tower moment. It all came apart. This okay, or it's all going to come apart, or something came apart. This is your current energy, so you was trying to stand your ground or you stood your ground within these commitments, and as a result, it brought in the tower. It brought it all down. You got this ace of swords. It was cut out. It was brought completely out. You got the clarity and the truth because it was cut out. The tower moment took that out because you had, you not only had these two big relationships, you had other relationships but see these other relationships wasn't even nothing they were just other just illusional irrelevant options but you you brought these two energies within that so they became one of them options boy you've been busy divine masculine but it, even though you, you're doing all these things emotionally you're causing chaos within other people's lives is because you severely need to be healed. And this is a very good card for you because this is how you achieve the door to personal healing and happiness. And you notice healing comes before the happiness. So 
All right, this is your current energy. Now, let's go back and check on your past energy, Divine Masculine, which is adjacent possibilities. So, you see how these doors open? So many doors are open right here. Now, this is the past. Now, this is just like options, too. You know what I'm saying? It's like over here in your current, you got, you had uh, uh, emotional options or like romantic options. But over here in your past, you had options and opportunities, too. You had options excuse was it opportunities <laughs> and doors opening all over the mother freaking fracking place you hear me on on the ceiling on the floor doors just opening up for you what is that all about inquiring minds want to know the divine masculine i want to know what that's all about so let's clarify adjacent possibilities because this is your current energy what is this adjacent possibilities about for the divine masculine The lovers. See? Oh, you boy, this is the lover. This is somebody you choose to be with. This is some type of twin flame soulmate connection, too. And this is coming up in your past energy. So many po adjacent possibilities. So it's like, man, you had so many opportunities in life for every endeavor of your life. Love, I think it. I think this is like the root of what we're talking about in the current because the current is the seven of cups. So over here, when it says you have adjacent possibilities and then the lovers show up, it's like so many women were throwing themselves at you. You probably was going out to your car and you got panties all on the windshield. You probably had women sucking you off in, 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 in the club somewhere. You probably, I mean, she probably was sucking you while she was standing on top of her head. She probably was able to suck you off while she was in another bedroom. She was doing stuff like that. I'm talking about they was trying, they was coming at you. Every door was open to you. It was no woman you couldn't get. You Even your homeboy girls was winking at your ass. You hear me? So that made, you was already emotionally damaged, but it just made you weaker. So you had coochie coming all out from everywhere. Even girls' mamas coming. Everybody trying to throw, it, it was like a test of your, it was like a test to your flesh. Because you was already dealing with stuff emotionally but then you got all these opportunities and, and, and boy a door's opening up for you you know you ain't even got a how you can't even court a woman they so busy throwing themselves at your divine masculine everybody want to get it on with you or some type of soulmate connection here some type of lover that you're involved with there was many possibilities within their connection but obviously what we're going to find out if you well, you, you're not with her now, but because, but all these doors that the universe opened for you within this union of this divine feminine, the universe opened up the door. Oh, look at that. See, the universe gave you so many adjacent possibilities for this union. You were sleeping with her anyway, because that was your soulmate partner. Really, it was. And you had so many opportunities. Doors was would, was opening. Everything would have blossomed within this union. That's one possibility. Knight of Cups. This Knight of Cups is always in search of his true love. He in search of his soulmate. You see, hear me say soulmate connect. They say this Knight is always in search of his, his, um, always in search of his true love. But he looked like he, he looked slow too. Look like he ain't moving. But they say the Knights is kind of slow too. The Knight of Cups, well, the Knight of Pentacles is slow, but. He look like he propped up too. But he wants to offer his love or he's in search of this queen of pentacles here. Someone who, who you can grow with, someone who's abundant, someone who's a nurturing, someone who could be a good, uh, a good person to build with. So this is your idea person to dealing with these adjacent possibilities or all these the options of the possibilities that came your way or is this a person? Now you got the Ten of Cups. So see, you got this, this, this past person. 
So you got the Ace of Swords over here in this current energy. So it seems like something was cut out. Something was cut out. Perhaps this is the current energy because in this Seven of Cups, I clarified. Um, well, after the Seven of Cups is the Temperance and then the Ace of Swords. So after the Seven of Cups is the Temperance, like balancing balancing or healing yourself from an ending healing yourself from an ending but when you get this seven of cups and you clarify you get the queen of cups the three of cups so it's like you want to renew something here but something had ended here because you see we got the tower moment so it's like i don't know who you ended it with i guess you ended it with I think you ended it with this, this Queen of Cups because over here, this Empress, you're waiting for your investments to come back. You ain't leave. It's like you waiting like a month. You got three of wands that's waiting. You got the seven of pentacles that's waiting. You're waiting for some type of investment to come out of her. It's like you done put something in it and you're waiting to get something back out of it that, that you feel like you deserve the way you're waiting here. So in your past energy, it's like, all of the adjacent possibilities you could have had with this soulmate connection of this person that you cut out in your current energy. You could have had all of those things with this person. You could have built with this person. Uh, you could have had some type of uh, happy life together, but, but um, you was already in a committed relationship. Let me clarify, y'all. I ain't got that much room. Let me see. Let me clarify the lovers. What's the lovers about? Clarify the lovers for the divine masculine. The sun card. Okay, so the lovers, you're feeling optimistic. You're feeling hopeful. Uh, someone is a starter to you. Something is illuminated, but I think you're feeling hopeful about... In the past, you was feeling hopeful about this connection. So... And I think it's this cups because you got ten of cups and the knight of cups. So you had a lot of emotions for this union in the past. Clarify this ten of cups. Ace of Wands. You wanted a passionate new beginning here. You wanted to you wanted a passionate new beginning and you find this, this lover's uh, very attractive. You want to have sex with him all the time, too? This You 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 envision, you had so many, um, you, you fantasize. Because if you look at this picture, it's almost as if like you're in La La Land. It's like it's lit up like you're in your head. You know what I'm saying? So it's like as if the Divine Masculine was fantasizing about this past uh, relationship. That they were his everything. They were full of emotions. Uh, he, he saw a long, a long, happy life with this person. He saw where he could build and become abundant with this person. He saw where he could stand up in the coochie with this person. I'm talking about he could really, this person really take the D, you hear me? Because he handed this, he like, she could even take the D, you hear me? This was this, this idea of mate for the divine masculine in this past energy here. So, so it's like Ten of Cups sometimes, uh, well, in tarot, usually is an end. And so it's like you wanting to restore something here. You want to have a new beginning with this lovers here because they're in your past. So it's like you wanted to offer them something brand new, but in the process, you're longing for them. You miss them. You want to get them the D. You want them to ride out on that thing, don't you? Don't you divide mass? Well, go on, tell the truth. We're not here to judge. We know you miss her. So, but in your current energy, the tower moment came because you was trying to, uh, you was, you wasn't leaving the home, even though there was no happiness there because you had too much invested and you're waiting to see your investments come in. So you had to end the, uh, this queen of cups energy and this celebration energy and this renewal perhaps because, uh, ultimately th they're just options anyway. So the tower came in. So this is your, 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 your current energy. So you ended it. So it's like this was the foundation. This is why he ended. This is why the divine masculine. This is why the tower came in was because he um, 
he wasn't going to lead this, this empress right here, but yet still he had to lead this one over here. And this is the one that he loved. This is, he was hopeful. He, he loved this one over here. He, he, he knew that, um, things were not like they should have been. They ended, uh, but he want to have a, a brand new beginning. So, um, Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups. Who you handed the Knight of Cups? Who you? I know who you handing it to. You handing it to this Queen of Pentacles. That's who you trying to bring it to. So the one who, um, in the past, it ended with. So you're trying to have something new. You want to offer them so much. <sighs> because something happened. You're messed up. So let's deal with your uh, future energy, Divine Masculine, which is storm warning here. You got a storm warning. And storm warning doesn't always mean that it's anything bad. It just means that to take note. Okay, just pay attention because something is going on that you need to be aware of is what it's telling you. Because if it was going to get you, it would just, you know, it would just got you already. But it's storm warning. Six of Wands. The Chariot. It was illuminated that you need to move forward. With. You want victory moving forward. You want to be victorious moving forward because you're guarded. You guarded, you're wounded. You, boy, you're wounded. You got the nine of wands here. So you're wounded. You've been through so much. You've been through so much using them wands. You done wore yourself out with all these options using them wands, divine masculine. You're only one person. You can't have them all. Because using all them wands is a burden. Now you got the ten of wands, see? So you're trying to move away from that energy. You're trying to move out of those things. So you're trying to release a burden here. You're trying to you're trying to move forward to releasing a burden. So you're having to fight. You're having to give it all you got with even within your fragile uh, energy right now because I think you are feeling somewhat defeated because life life lessons is starting to get to you now. And you really needed to be healed because after you done had sex in every type of million position you can, uh, those problems are still there and they need to be addressed in order for you to have happiness with whoever you choose to be happy with. So let's clarify this Ten of Wands. What are you trying to release, uh, Divine Masculine? Clarify the Ten of Wands. Ace of Swords, you're trying to release this truth. You're trying to release this burden that you've been keeping this truth. You've been you you you've been you've been holding on to this truth for all this time. Is it that you've been holding on to this truth? You didn't tell this Queen of Pentacles or this Queen of Cups about this Empress. That's why you couldn't give to her. That's why the Tower Mama came in. Are you trying to tell your divine? mate over here divine masculine that you know that this is your that you know that she's your your um uh, your joy your abundance she's your soulmate connection you want to give it all to her you want to make her you want to honor her you know but but you're stuck because you're waiting on your shifts to come in with this hell of an investment with this empress could be the mother of your child because the empress is a pregnant woman she's a married woman she's a pampered woman she ain't got to break her nails and get dirty and, and drag the trash can out like the divine feminine got to, goddammit. I'm just saying. So you're 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 invested because remember the divine masculines have emotional uh, abandonment issues. So they don't want to leave their children, but they're so carnal minded. Uh see, it's not so easy for him to leave this divine, it's not so easy for him to leave this karmic. I'm gonna call her the karmic, this empress right here, because he still got these options. 
you remember the the the, uh, the one he's invested all these coins into with this union with, he still got options even on her. So it's like when you got the divine masculine, he had this already going on. Plus he had other options, but he had to have you because you was the energy and, and the nourishment and the and the love and the emotions that he needed that he wasn't getting from this empress. He needed someone to pour into him, but this empress, he was pouring into her. So hell yeah, it brought in the tower moment because somebody was coming up short as usual. But he regrets it because he's wanting to offer something new. You know, he's wanting to have a brand new abundance, everything with you. And he still, even though it, the tower came in, he still got the nerve and the dash to, to, I don't give a damn what he say. I don't give a damn what he do. Still, deep down inside, he has the nerve and the audacity to still be hopeful. Mm-hmm. So you releasing this burden. That's what you want to say. This is the burden you want to see because you want to release this truth. You haven't told the truth. You haven't told the truth. That's what's bothering you because all this freaking time, you you know that this person means more to you. You always saying that this person, Karen, with all these cups in here, you know this person was, and then you got soul ties together. You're, you're spiritually connected. So when she hurts, when the divine, when you, divine mass, let me tell you something. When you hurt the divine feminine, you hurt yourself because you're energetically, spiritually connected. So all those times you was doing things to her because you was in your low vibration shadow side because you was given to this, this empress over here. It was done right back to you. Now it's haunting you. You're having to deal with it. And the storm warning come in that you got all these options, but you ain't getting no emotional fulfillment here. And you got snakes within these options. You got people out here trying to do you harm and you don't even realize it. Yeah, you got a lot of women on your team. You got a lot of women chasing you and spreading their legs open and leaving panties, sending panties in the mail. But you got some snakes and some witches and warlocks that's after your ass too. So, um, what are you standing your ground? What are you, what are you, you wounded warrior? Where are you wounded from, Nine of Wands? Clarify the Nine of Wands. The Six of Pentacles, paying something out. Are you worried about having to pay something out? Or are you worried about this not no equal give and take here? Because this is coming up in your future energy. Are you worried about releasing this burden of why there wasn't no equal give and take? Because you was sowing all this shit into your empress, the mother of your child over here. She was getting it all. She she ain't even got to ask your ass because you know she ain't playing with you. She got these babies too. She was an option. Wow. So I know that you want victory here, but there's a storm warning because you're you in your head. You 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 feeling burnt. You got this ten of wands. It is releasing a burden, but you're still in your head. You, you you're trying to heal yourself, but you feel like healing yourself is coming clean and telling the truth. But that is burdensome to you. That's hard because you know that you put on such a hell of a image. And, and your image is so far from what you show your divine feminine and you're having to face that. And that's the hardest thing for you to have to do. But, hey, it is what it is. So let me hurry up and um, get a possible outcome for the divine masculine. Possible outcome for the divine masculine here. I'm going to do a divine masculine energy how he feel towards his divine feminine and how the divine feminine feel towards her divine masculine. Not right now, but after this video uploads, I'll post the other one. Universal energy of light and love reveal the mysteries unto us for our highest gift for good for the collective of the divine masculine for the possible over outcome. What is the energy coming towards the divine masculine for his overall possible overall outcome so we have intuition we have transformation and we have memories of love see he's still stuck in the past he's still thinking about you divine feminine because you gave you plant see anytime there's a spiritual connection there you cannot deny that the divine masculine doesn't understand it but he can't deny it so you're trying to um you're just working on yourself you're trying to transform 
You're trying to trans. You're transforming so that you can be more emotional, so that you can reveal more emotion, so you can embrace more emotions. You hear me? Because you've been putting up this hard ass image for so long, and and god dang when when your dick don't excuse me sorry when your penis don't, don't start it doesn't work like it should and you got to keep popping these pills to hang out with these young girls and do something strange and just 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 wear yourself out and these these young girls gonna leave your ass and go get her another man with some money then you're gonna try to drag your limp penis back to the divine feminine and try to ask her to uh, fix your ass back up but god damn get your shit together divine masculine is all i'm saying okay so this has been a Divine Masculine's uh, general reading for the overall as a collective. Please feel free, I ask you to do so, to subscribe to my channel, share my videos, like, and comment, and remember, so as a man thinketh in his heart, then so is he. We are to think upon things that bring us a good report. We are to speak things that are not as though they were already. Thank you so kindly for tuning in to Brown Eyes, and I will talk to you another time.